Here we go, this is the final mission in the game, to kill Sosa, and we're gonna be wearing the same suit that Tony wore at the beginning of the game, and at the end of the movie. And this is the best phone call in the game, coming up right here. The world will remember your name. Love that. You should have died a long time ago, Tony. You want a war with me, you fucking little monkey? I'll give you a war you will never forget! This phone call is over, man! I like how he just ignores him and says the phone call is over. And now it's Sosa, the one that's becoming furious and angry. So now we're going after Sosa. That phone call shows that Tony really got to him. Okay, so we're gonna go to Bolivia now, and we're gonna do what so many people in the movie wanted to happen. Gentlemen, I wish to discuss something that is of interest to all of us here. I have a problem. We have a problem. Uh, get to the point, Alex. Montana's been a fly on our shit ever since you sent your hit squad to Miami. Since then, he's been on a goddamn mission to personally fuck us in the ass. Yes. Well, I might remind you that you haven't been any more successful at taking care of Montana than I have. Mr. Gomez. Hey! I never had a problem with him until you stirred the pot. I hold you responsible, Alex. And the only reason I'm here is to make sure that I get a deal out of this. Ah, oh, fuck. Why don't you two stop bickering about who fucked up where... Put your money where your mouth is. Sosa, you have connections with the military here. Give him some money and roll some tanks on the prick. Come on. Do you believe our friends in Washington would approve of Bolivian tanks on the streets of Miami, George? Fuck Washington. I got them in my back pocket. A few greenbacks spread to the right hand, you make them look the other way for a day, never hurt anybody. Jesus Christ, you fucking lawyers are all the same. Montana has declared war on everybody in Miami, and he's obviously not going to stop until he steps into this goddamn living room. This mission is also the hardest in the game. At the end of the movie, and at the beginning of the game, Salsa was shooting up Tony's mansion, so now we're gonna shoot up his mansion. This is Tony's scumbag lawyer that betrayed him. Tony, baby, hey, hey, come on, you need to think about this. You gotta think a little more. Fuck you, George, you fucking worm. Put the fucking gun away. What are you, crazy? Why are you, are you on drugs? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess, okay, well. Prepare to fucking die. Now what's unique is there's three different ways to execute him, with the AK, with a Desert Eagle, or with your fists. Let me show you guys all three executions. Fuck me in the ass. This is my law, George! 
fuck me in the ass. This is my law, George. Fuck me in the ass. <laughs> This is my law, George! Find Gaspar Gomez. Holy shit, Montana, how the fuck did you get here? How many babies have you eaten today, Gaspar, huh? Babies? What the fuck are you talking about? You still fucked up on your own supply? You fucking addict. You have no respect for this business. All I care about is Sosa's head on a platter to serve to the fucking dogs. It's over, Gaspar! It's over for you now! You hear? Ugh. Oh, oh. Gaspar and Sheffield are dead. All that's left now is Sosa. Your turn, Cameron! Maldito! I took you off the fucking head! Fuck you! Don't fuck with me! Try to get rage up all the way. Die, motherfucker! Now this whole thing, this whole war that Sosa launched on Tony was because Tony didn't want to detonate the car in New York that had kids in the car because this guy was going to give a speech at the UN against drug smugglers and there were kids in the car, Tony didn't want to detonate it and Sosa blamed him for it. And a lot of people were wondering, you know, that saw the movie, did Sosa know about the kids in the car? Well, the game actually answers that question and answers what, what his reaction would have been to it. Listen carefully to what he says. So, how's this going to work, Tony? How do we solve our problem? You're going to die, Alex, for everything you've done in your entire life. <laughs> what about what you did? I told you not to fuck me, and you did, Tony. There were kids in the fucking car, Alex! Innocent kids, huh? What kind of animals you got working for you? I want to clear something up with you, Tony, before I kill you. When you move 400 kilos a month, it's imperative that you do kill children. That way, heroes don't get confused and go on 60 minutes. They instead crawl back into the hole they came from. Hey, Sosa! Maybe it's time for you to make that call, huh? Hello, my little friend. Fuck you, Hassa! Let's see how you do. So 
Rosa, you stupid fuck! You see? I knew there wasn't a shortage of plotters. Let me leave, Tony. I need to support my family. It's all I got. Hey, look at me. I want to see your eyes. It's the truth. I swear. Please. You want a job, man? Ah, look at this bullshit! Who deserves to be on TV? Me! That's who! Who should be on every fucking magazine cover? Me! Family! Me! You got that right, baby. Vodka for Venus, gin for Tony. Hey, thanks, Manny. You do not mind if I call you Manny, do you? Call me whatever you want, Tony. Okay, how about stupid fuck? Are you like that, huh? Just kidding, man. You know, the world is yours, Chico. And everything in it. So say goodnight to the bad guy. That's the same music that plays at the end of the movie. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this, this walk through a Scarface, this game meant a lot to me, one of the best open world games I've played, one of the best gangster games I've played. I might make a follow up video talking about why I love this game, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, and if you're new to my channel, enjoy my content, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care everyone.